Hey everyone, happy, happy day. So this is one of my favorite tops. It is colorful, but not too colorful for my um, skin type. And it's very lightweight for the Texas summer weather. Um, but I ran into something and made this hole in this top. I don't know what I did. It's not in the seam, so I can't just sew it back up. So I'm going to um, have to throw it in the garbage, which means it's going to go to the landfills and stay there. You know, it could stay up to a 100 years depending on what fabric it's made out of. So I always try to be creative. I don't want to donate the top. That would be my next. Um, because it has a hole in it, most people are not going to be able to wear it. Maybe if they want to use it to work in the yard or whatever. But I'm going to be creative and I'm going to make something different out of this fabric since I do like it so well. So stay tuned and you try to guess what my options are. Look at all the pretty colors. But remember, it is lightweight. Okay. So let's, let's try to make a plan together of what we're going to do with this top. I don't want it to take me a lifetime to, um, fix, to make a craft item or sew or whatever. And I want others to be able to follow the trend as well. All right. Let's get back with each other. Bye bye now. Okay, this is LaDonna with Home Sweet Home Treasures, always bringing you the best deals, the best quality, and the most variety. So here we are, you know, I told you about it, my favorite top. Um, I snagged it on something, it created a hole. So uh, we are going to do a new crop crafting project. And I want you to find a piece of fabric maybe that you love, or if you don't have a piece of fabric and you have an old t-shirt, a top, a pair of jeans that have a hole in it. I don't want you to buy anything for this craft. Nothing. Again, I want to bring you simple, simple, affordable projects that you can do from here till the end of the year that you can utilize every day or holidays. So I cut the top into a strip. I want it a little bit larger than this tin can. That's right. This can used to um, have corn in it, I believe. Um, most of us have some kind of can. It does not matter what color the can is. It doesn't matter what was in the can. Just clean it. Take the label off of it. As you can see, this can is clean inside. It doesn't matter the size of the can. We are going to create a simple project using this tin can. Some kind of crafting, uh, this fabric, ribbon, something. We need it to be a little bit uh, wider, I guess, or longer, however you see it, than the can. Um, now, this, what used to be a top, so I am going to go ahead where this is all crinkled up, wrinkled up. Um, I'm going to cut this off just a little bit so it's easier to work with. I didn't have any glue, so I'm going to pretend you have no glue. I have a glue gun I can use, so if you have a glue gun, grab your glue gun. Um, or if you have glue, grab your glue, glue stick, um, anything that's easy to work with. Again, do not buy anything. So what I did is I just went to my uh, canister, grabbed a little bit of flour, added a little, little bit of water, a fork, and stirred it up really, really good and made my own uh, Mod Podge or glue, however you want to call it. And that's what I'm going to use on this project. Because again, I don't want you to buy anything. So I'm going to try to utilize everything that you would have something that you could use at home. I am going to need the pair of scissors. 
and anything that you want to use to decorate um, your um, organizer, canister, however you're going to utilize your can. And I'm going to give you some more ideas. I did have this piece of lace. And it does match my fabric because it has a little bit of peachy pink in it. It's an off-white. It does not matter if it matches, doesn't match, because we are creating a masterpiece. So, ribbon, lace, um, maybe um, an old trim off of a top. This is an old trim that was on a top. And it is braided. I loved it. So I just went and torn it off of the top and threw it into my crafting closet in a bu bucket. I have some ribbon. You could use some ribbon. There's different colors of laces, different kinds of trims. So lots of different things. You could even use um, gift wrapping, ribbon making um, ribbon if you wanted to. So get creative. I will be back with you in just a second. Grab your supplies. Okay, as you can see, I found a brush, any kind of brush. Um, I went ahead and coated my can with my homemade glue. So now what I'm doing is I'm laying that on top of my fabric, and I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I'm going to have to get me a little helper, I guess, to uh, record my crafting soon. All right, I'm just rolling my can in my fabric. You just want to coat it really nice. It doesn't matter if it wrinkles. It doesn't matter if it shows the wrinkles in the can. Look at that, okay? Now, I can go ahead and cut my fabric where I need to because now I'm done with the fabric. So, just a pair of scissors. It doesn't matter what kind of pair of scissors. You just want to use a pair of scissors to cut your fabric. Now, just roll it all the way around. As you can see, my seam is here and I'm going to need a little bit more glue and again, I'm just gluing it. It's nothing spectacular, nothing. And you can get as fancy or not as fancy as you want with this project. All right, look at that. Okay. Now, it will glue, it will dry over time, but right now we're just trying to get it put together. I'm rolling my can back and forth just so that glue can start drying and grabbing a hold of the can or the other piece of fabric. So that's what we're doing. Then we're going to go ahead and glue the bottom piece, or you can just cut off that. It does not matter because you're not going to see the bottom of the can anyway. Then we want to go ahead and fold down either the top side or glue those edges down. So I'm going to be gluing down my edges. I'm going to be back with you in just a minute. Let's get this job done together, and then we will see what our creations look like. All right, gang, I went ahead and I tied my piece of lace around the top of my can. Now it's a canister or organizer decor piece. Look how beautiful that is. Now I used about a yard of um, lace. It was a little bit over a yard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off my lace to go about to the bottom of my can. And that way I can sit it on a counter if I want or sit it on a shelf. Um, and look here. Now I have an organizer that I can add my scissors to. Um, whatever you may want to do. Now, my can is still drying right now. So, if you use the glue gun, your can's already dried, of course, some of the fast action glues. But again, I'm putting together simple projects that you do not have to purchase anything. I do not want you to purchase anything. I purchase nothing except the can of corn, which I always have corn in the house or green beans. Um, canned tomatoes, tomato sauce, Rotel, canned milk, 
um, whatever it is that you may use. You can even use your canned cat food if, you know, if it comes in a can that's um, oblong like this. You don't want a flat can probably, but maybe you do. It's your choice. A dog food can. You're going to clean that can. You're going to take the label off that can. Now, if you wanted not the gold color or stainless color or silver color that your inside of your can is, you could have very simply painted your can before you decorated it. Or maybe you just wanted to paint it with spray paint or acrylic or brush paint, whatever it was, and then just add your ribbon or your lace or... You know, you can even use contact paper or just any kind of crafting paper and glue it onto your can. So we're going to be doing a lot more crafts with cans. So make sure as you empty out your cans that you go ahead and wash them, take the labels off and save them because we are going to be doing a lot of crafting for fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and the um, December holidays. So get ready, get geared up. Talk to you soon.